Select the quadcopter, use the page button to work through the various functions until we get to the special functions. We then come down and I've got the arm switch as you can see there, which is SF. Uh, I've got the arm switch set to um, store logs to the SD card every second. Right, I've copied the flight log from the um, Taranis QX7 into a Excel workbook and I've rename the page um, as, you, as seen here. You can see here that the GPS coordinates are uh, latitude and longitude and the altitude is over here. So if we want to plot on um, Google Earth Pro the uh, track of the uh, quadcopter plus its altitude then we need this column and this column. However, uh, in order to plot it onto Google Earth Pro we first of all need the longitude followed by the latitude and those two separated by a comma and then the altitude again separated by a comma. So we need to extract the data on this column and that column to a separate um, worksheet. So let's um, have a look at this worksheet here that we will rename Extracted. There we go. Now we want to extract the latitude which was the right hand sorry, sorry we want to extract the longitude which is the right hand side of the GPS column and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. So if we uh, switch to our second worksheet and we want the right hand side of a column and the column that we're interested in is this one and in that we want to extract the first or the, the last nine characters. So if we hit that we'll see we've now got a column which will contain the longitude. Equally in order to get the latitude we look at the left most nine characters of the GPS column and we extract the nine characters there. So we've now got two columns one is longitude and one is latitude. We extract here the altitude so we uh, click on the altitude there and that's that. So we've got those in there. Now we want to copy this down the sheet for the number of rows that are occupied by this data and the number of rows occupied by the data is 407. So we'll make a start on that. So we want to highlight it, control copy, 
control C and then go down until we get to 407. And here we come. Four hundred and seven, and Control V will paste that into there. So we've now got um, a sheet with the data extracted. We can now save that sheet as a CSV file. Save as. CSV and we'll call it uh, um, blah, 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 one flight extracted. Okay, and we'll save that. And we've now got the data that we require. You could have had in place of altitude, you could have had RSI. RSSI, which would have been perhaps interesting. Google Earth requires that we present the GPS coordinates and altitude uh, within a KML file. So we first have to create a KML file without any GPS coordinates in it. Um, so I've opened Notepad and I've, I've then typed in the KML data that you can see here and within the blank area labelled coordinates we will uh, copy and paste our um, GPS data and altitude from the CSV file that we created. So this was the CSV file that we created earlier but that I've now opened in Notepad. I can now copy all of the data, the GPS and the altitude um, data here, highlight it and control copy. I will then open the KML file that we um, created earlier and I'm going to open that with notepad and here, here we are and into the coordinates um, blank area I will copy and paste or I will paste the coordinates that I copied earlier. They, we've got a rogue zero zero and comma comma there so I'll to delete that, we don't want, want that. And we've now got a KML file with all our coordinates in there. I will save that now. Save as. We don't want to save it as a text file. We want to save it as a KML file. And I think I'll change the name from blank to actual. So we've got a KML file now called insert GPS data actual dot KML and I'll save that. And if we go and take a look, here it is, and it's saved as a KML file. And if I double click on that, it opens Google Earth Pro and we begin to zoom in and we've now got a plot of the flight and altitude.
we will see that the flight began here and slowly increased in altitude uh, as it went along the altitude stayed more or less the same uh, came down a little and then I hit the return to home and the altitude remained constant all the way and then a vertical drop down to home so that, that's quite interesting to see that I think